Jim, you've brought up a remarkably fine girl in Gloria, and I've brought up a remarkably fine boy in Waddy. That's right, George. Now, don't you think a union of the two families would be an excellent idea? Why, nothing would please me better. And I'm sure that Gloria feels the same way about Waddy. What? Me married that? Gloria. Nevertheless, I mean it. Waddy is the world's greatest proof of reincarnation. Nobody can become so dumb in one lifetime. I can't understand it. It's your fault. You've kept him tied to your apron strings. I don't wear an apron. Well, you certainly tied one on him. Why, he would be a splendid chap if you hadn't spoiled him. And until he proves himself to be a man, I'll have nothing to do with him. I have a suggestion. So have I. Let's go for a drive. I'd love it. What was that suggestion? Let's go for a drink. I'd love it. I'm going to drive myself. Yourself? I want to be alone.
What's all the shooting for, Sheriff? Oh, um, uh, I was just practicing. Say, uh, can I get a drink? My mouth tastes like an old glove. Thanks, pal. I've never been in a place with so much silence. It is pretty quiet here. Where is everybody? Gets on my nerves. Right here. You mean you're the only monkey in town? You mean I'm stuck here? Gee. And that pretty place was so little noise. No sound. Which went from the death house. Oh, I like it here. Nobody to bother you, especially women. Well, I don't. Give me the city. Give me the crowds anytime. A guy's safe in a crowd. But this, this talk. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. That's just a bottle of... Uh, gee, your nerves. Gee, I, I never knew I had any nerves till I hit this dump. If you're afraid, you can stay with me. With you. I don't know who they are. But we dasn't let them get wind of our find. Well, the sooner we record our claim, the better. Yeah, let's go quick. Maybe it's Sunday. Well, we're here. Hi, Sheriff. Got a match? Hi, Sheriff. to see you down at your office. Oh, well, uh, you'll pardon us, won't you? I have to see a squirrel. Squirrel? Yes, squirrel. I've owned that property for 20 years. I knew it was in the mother loaf. Who do you think's here, Daddy? 
Who, dear? Waddy. And he's sheriff. Waddy? Sheriff. Well, where is he? He just went to see a squirrel. I see. You want to steal the Marietta mine? No. All I want to do is take possession of it. And there'll be plenty in it for you. Well, there'll be no claim jumping while I'm sheriff. Okay. It's your funeral. What did you want to turn down a good racket like that? Just because of a few apple knockers. You think I'm going to let a few grand slip by me? But it's not honest. Honest. Do you think you've been kidding me? You sheriff. <laughs> That's a man's job. And from now on, a man's going to wear this buzzer. Get me? Well, boys, I just had a talk with the sheriff. He won't play ball. Okay, Chief. Come on, gang. Let's go. What is it? I couldn't wait any longer to congratulate you. Are you through your business? Well, no. Uh, there's a bunch of claim jumpers trying to take possession of the Marietta mine. The Marietta? Well, that's my mine. Well, Sheriff, why don't you do something about it? <laughs> Greetings, Sheriff. You must have dropped your badge. Oh, thanks. Well, by the way, there was a little shooting going on as I come up the street. There was? There was. Why don't you put a stop to it, Sheriff? I will. And I'll round up that gang trying to steal your mine. Oh, Waddy, I'm afraid. Here's to me, the new sheriff. Here, you hold them all while I go get some ammunition. Hey, boss, we're out of bullets. All right, round up the gang. Yeah. Come on, pal, don't be afraid.
Throw them up. Get them up. Get out of here. Come on. Go on, get back there. Hey, Bugs! It's me! Look who I... Yes, and so's the Marietta mine. 